expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. A big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Choi's overhand punch to the head doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one, and it gets blocked. Whiffs on the right hand. Nice counter shot there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Coach gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Ooh. We got him whip his hips into that kick. Great punch. Just misses with a left hook there. Just over three minutes to go. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh! Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Swing and a miss with that punch by Boach. Big knee to the body. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. The Korean Superboy gets absolute takedown. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Close guard. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Chor. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Boach. Able to check that kick as well. Nice punch there. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking you these, man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Get you, get you. All right, he closes. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, my goodness! Oh! Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Coach's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. And there comes the separation now. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. That's a big strike right there. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. A little single collar tie there. So a combination of knees here. You don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, they'll fix it. There's no takedown threat. If there was a takedown threat, he would not be throwing so many knees. But there's no threat to get taken down, so he is just letting those knees fly. Well, missed on that one. Now he touches him with the left. 
Round two is next. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. and it shows. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Effective strike there by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Nice punch lands over the top. How about that chin? Just misses there with the left. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Back and forth we go! And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. And potentially a critical takedown here. Lands the right hand. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. Nice defense there, huge block. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Coach gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. And a nice stiff jab there. Just, oh! Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 28 seconds of round number two. Declare the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Ho Chong. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams 